The Arctic is a beautiful and unique part of the world, a fascinating and mystical place. The Edu Arctic Partnership, consisting of six organizations from five European countries, hopes to use interest in the Arctic to encourage European students to pursue careers in the vitally important subjects of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The Arctic is a region filled with opportunity. However, the Arctic needs a well-trained professional workforce with the right scientific and technical skills to help the region grow and prosper in a sustainable way. And what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. The changes currently taking place in the region due to climate change are influencing weather and climate patterns in the rest of the world. Conducting scientific research in the Arctic is necessary to understand how these changes are going to affect our everyday lives. The EduArctic program has five components. The first component is a series of online lessons. These lessons, given by scientists working at Arctic research stations, are virtual classrooms connecting students directly to scientists who are working on exciting research projects. Next are Arctic competitions. Students and teachers from schools across Europe will be able to win a trip to visit an Arctic research station and take part in the scientific research being carried out there. Teacher trainings are another component of the program. Three different forums will be held across Europe where teachers can learn how to effectively use the tools of the EduArctic program in their classrooms. Then there is the environmental monitoring system, where students and teachers at participating schools will carry out citizen science, collecting data and information about the environment around their school. And finally, there's the Polarpedia a multilingual encyclopedia that explains polar phenomena and scientific terminology. The EduArctic program is available for students and teachers at all European schools, and the tools are freely available thanks to support from the European Commission. <laughs>